All right, you're looking at my Ryzen 2600 build paired with an RX 580, and I'm going to swap out that CPU cooler and replace it with a Hyper 212 Evo from Cooler Master. I'm going to take you along for the ride, and hopefully I do an in-depth install on how to install that bad boy. So let's get to it. All right, let's go ahead and start with the back plate. So you grab your plastic back plate, and you'll see AMD. You want the AMD facing towards you, okay? Next, we're gonna grab these four pins and we're gonna put them into these holes right here. Okay, not the long rectangular ones. I believe that's Intel but the shorter ones. And once they're in, I'm gonna lift up. I wanna make sure that they're slotted like that. Okay, so you can see how they're all slotted in right there. Then I'm gonna grab the four clips. So make sure you grab those from your box and then we're just gonna snap these on. One, Two, three, three and four, okay. So now that we've done that, but you can see we don't know which slot to put them into because you can either go up here or down there. So just to make it simple for you, you wanna move every pin to the left. Left, left, so now, all the pins are to the left. All right, we're done prepping the back plate. Let's move on to the heat sink and prep that. All right, so here's the Hyper 212 Evo from Cooler Master. Okay, so you get that. And then the next things you'll wanna get are the brackets that need to go with it that will attach to that back plate we just put together. So those brackets for the the AM4 board, they look like that. So if you grab these, those are for Intel. I'm not doing Intel right now. The next thing you wanna get is you, we need to screw these brackets down to the heat sink. So make sure you got your two little screws available. This is how I do it. So go ahead and stand your heat sink up. Then let's install that first bracket. So you can see, or maybe you can see, that there's a little notch right here. Okay, we're gonna put that on top of this channel here and it should just fit nice and snug right there. Okay, so I'm holding that firmly in place now and now we're gonna screw from the bottom right here, right there. All right, we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Again, there's that notch. We are done prepping the heat sink. All right, so let's take out this stock old cooler. All right, and while we're here, let's unplug the CPU from the motherboard. Boom. And we are gonna gently twist it off. Let's go ahead and retire this old heat sink. All right, now it's time to clean the heat sink and the CPU. So let me take care of that really quick. So now let's go ahead and take off this back plate right here. Now I know most of you who are trying to replace our cooler, you're gonna have these plastic clips on here. So we're gonna to have to take those off so that we can release the back plate. 
And don't worry, I won't make you watch me unscrew all four. But everybody, make sure you save these clips and the back plate because you never know when you're going to need them in the future. So now that I've got these clips off, I'm just going to lift the tower up. And in my case, the back plate's just going to fall off because I have a nice open hole on my motherboard. Well, this will just come off. If your case does not have a hole like this, be prepared. You might have to take off your motherboard. All right, so now that that's off, let's get our back plate that we just uh, prepped a little bit ago. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna marry this up here, just like that. And I'm gently gonna lay it down. Perfect there. So you can see they're sticking through those full four holes. So it's a perfect match. The next thing you'll need to do is grab these four standoffs. They're pretty large, they're pretty hefty and pretty heavy. So grab these four from the box and we're just gonna screw them on. And again, I'm gonna go crisscross. I'm gonna kinda of do it kinda of tight, but I'm not gonna kill the motherboard. So I just wanna have it really nice and snug. But again, you don't wanna to put too much pressure on it to crack your motherboard. I'll make sure all four are pretty snug, but not too snug. What I like to do before I apply the thermal paste is I like to get the heat sink. And I just want to double check that everything is going to match up and marry up. And from my vantage point, it looks, it looks pretty good. So I think we're ready for the thermal paste. What, a pea-sized drop approximately? All right, let's install the heat sink. Let's do it. All right, let's see if I can start here because sometimes this can be tricky to get it started. And then I'm going to come to the, the top corner over here and kind of do a crisscross pattern. All right, the heat sink is installed. Let's get to the fans. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the clips on the fan, but I'm gonna kind of skip over that because to me that seems kind of self-explanatory. But you need four screws and two clips. I know they come with an extra set of clips, which I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna put two fans on my heat sink. It doesn't make a much difference in temperature. I just think it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, plug in our fans. So since I'm putting on two fans, I went ahead and I got myself a splitter. I'm gonna put this on my board on my CPU fan header. Let me take care of that really quick. So I got my fan splitter right there. Now let's go ahead and do the first fan. Okay, so the first one is gonna be a push fan. So you wanna make sure you have your fans aligned appropriately. So again, the air is gonna come in from this direction and go through the heat sink and go out to the back rear exhaust. So make sure when you do your fan that you have your fan cord towards the back of the case so that way you can cable management better. 
and put your clips on accordingly. And it's really easy. It just literally snaps in like that and you're done. So let's get my other fan. So I have this one set up on the left side of the heat sink and it's going to be the pole. So it's actually going to suck air from the heat sink. And so you want to adjust your fan accordingly. So it's going to exhaust that way to my exhaust fan on the back. And again, real easy. I'm just going to quickly plug my fans into these fan headers really quick. And now with just a little bit of cable management, we are basically done. All right, and there it is in all its glory, Cooler Masters Hyper 212 uh, with the dual fans rocking. Hopefully it's keeping my CPU nice and cool. Well, we're idling at 25 degrees Celsius, so I guess it's doing something right. All right, if you found this video at all helpful, make sure to give me a, a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you in the next video, folks. See you later.